morning and then I'll do the direction. Dear embodiments of pure love, on this auspicious occasion of Guru Purnima, we are meeting again and we are expressing the gratitude to the whole Guru principle which guided us all through this time, beyond time, beyond eternity and this continue to take us forward as we move forward. We are not apart from Guru Tattva, the principle called Guru. The principle called Guru exists inside us, within us and this is driving us towards the ultimate realization that we are one with the principle. Guru principle is you. You are the Guru principle. The Guru principle that rests in all beings is the soul element and once we connect to the soul element we are one with the Guru principle. So this is the simple message of Guru Purnima and while we walk this path, uh, the path of spirituality, it does not matter which religion, which guru, which concept or which uh, practice you do in life, to attain the highest, to attain the highest possible in a human existence, it does not matter who you are, where you are, what you are or whether you are but Guru principle always is with you. To tap into the Guru principle, you have to have a few things which are extremely important, such as discipline. If you are not disciplined, discipline is simple. If you are not disciplined, then it takes you further and further away from the principle called Guru and it always makes you feel alienated alienation is a state of the mind it does not exist we are always one with the guru principle you are always one with the guru you are always one with the eternity or the principle that guides us or maintains us but sometimes mind comes forward mind becomes overactive and we feel we are separate from everything separate from the guru separate from the path from the tradition from what you want to be, what you want to achieve. So, whenever you feel separated, understand that there is no discipline in your, in your uh, journey or your effort to reach the ultimate using the principle called Guru. Guru principle could also come in human form, but human form is given only because you need some, someone to relate to, someone to talk to. The Guru principle is everywhere. It is in the sun, it is in the moon, it is in the air, in the water. In every being around you, we experience the principle of Guru, the Guru Tattva. So we are actually worshipping the Guru Tattva today on the auspicious occasion of the Guru Purnima. Once you have discipline, once you are fully disciplined, into and fully focused on the principle and your effort to reach the principle, then the next comes consistency. Whatever you are doing, do it with consistency. There should be consistency. You can remove all your consistencies when you become one with the Guru principle, then you will be fully bound by the Tattva principle itself. Until then, you need to have consistency. If you are not consistent in your practice, if you are not consistent in your guru, if you are not consistent in your message or the message which guides you or the path which you follow, then it always leads to alienation. You will be separate from the tradition or the path or the guru. The more wandering or the more you wander, the more is the wandering, then the more is the alienation and disillusionment and eventual, uh, eventually you will feel that you have earned nothing. This was all a wasted exercise. So be consistent. And whenever you are uh, walking this path of Guru or the Guru principle, always have firm conviction. You take your time to understand the tradition. Take your time to understand the path. Take your time 
to check if this is good for you or whether it suits you. If it doesn't, you have every reason to discard it. But while you are walking the path, be consistent. Have full conviction. If you do not have any conviction or full conviction, then it will not take you to the, the desired destination. So a guru principle is, is available to you, it is within you and at the same time, if you do not connect yourself to the guru principle, it cannot take you to the desired uh, destination or desired result. Now, what, what does the guru need from you? Actually, the guru needs nothing from you. Guru is just like a road sign or the electricity which is sitting on your wall waiting to express itself, but you have to switch it on. You have to press the button. You have to switch on. Then it displays as brilliance. The guru principle is similar. It is the electricity which is available through time, always available to you, but you need to press the button. The button is first of all your willingness, your conviction, your consistency and your application. You need to apply. Otherwise, you are expecting the guru to deliver everything over onto you or give you in a platter. It will not happen. Why it will not happen? Because in the guru principle, you cannot interfere in anyone's free will. Free will has been given ultimate or utmost importance in the whole creation. You created your destiny, you created your life, you created your path, you chose everything, including your parents, your body, your character, your constitution, all these things are chosen by you. Now, Guru is coming just to guide you as a road sign to your ultimate destination. So, while you are walking this path, the Guru can never interfere and, and change things which you have already chosen. But at the same time, when you, when you surrender, when you are convinced that, for example, liberation is your ultimate aim, the Guru tradition or the Guru Tattva, the principle called Guru, will bring you everything which helps you to attain the liberation, ultimate, complete liberation. But you must definitely take the step. If you do not take the step, no guru can help you. You can follow any guru you like, you can follow any path you like, but it's all about being here now, being available. Available is emptiness. Basically, if you are, if you are empty, you are available. You are being available just by being empty, being receptive. You, if you are filled with ideas, if you are filled with concepts, if you are filled with thoughts and um, expectations, then the Guru can give you nothing. The Guru is a living, walking, talking example of what you should be. A true Guru who is connected to the source is a real living example of who you actually are. Whatever you see in yourself is not your reality. These are relative realities. In relative realities, everything changes. But in the ultimate reality, there is only permanence, stillness, absolute stillness of the mind, absolute oneness with the constitution, the truth. And we have a saying, uh, Satyam Shivam Sundaram. The truth is Shiva. Shiva is truth. And this is wonderful. This is beautiful. So whatever is true is permanent and whatever is permanent is eternal, eternal or it is Shiva. So the Tattva, the principle called Shiva is exactly the principle called Guru and the, that Guru, the principle stays inside us. This is our soul principle, the principle called soul, S-U-S-O-U-L. This is one with us and this is the, the only aspect within us which is permanent and this is exactly what every Guru leads you to. The Guru is showing the way into yourself, connecting to your own soul. Once you connect to your own soul, you have connected to the whole world, whole universe. Every being operates from the level of the soul. But because there are differences, because there are uh, cosmetic differences, like a different body, different mind, different equipments, such as uh, uh, intellect, uh, ego, uh, 
the spe species differences all this makes us feel that we are separate from the other this is the wrong identity wrong identification this is exactly what the guru principle points at or tells you to look at once you are connected to the guru principle all these differences will evaporate they will dissolve and then you see the soul element in every being when you see the soul element in every being you cannot find differences like if there is a disturbance from outside it is an extension of ourselves you will only see an exter extension of ourselves because the soul wise we are related another body is creating uh, sound creating uh, ripples in this canvas called existence but you will feel that it is just like the grumbling of your stomach sometimes you know it will this is an internal thing you tend to accept it right when there is a uh, problem inside our system we will do something about it we will tend to accept it we will tend to overcome it we will take some medicines we will uh, find some remedy some cure likewise the external disturbances will not matter to us because our extended entity is inside them or this is all our extended uh, identification extended entity everything is us there is no difference between a, a plant a flower an animal a human being the the stars or the sun or the moon no differences this is all extension of our constitution our consciousness the oneness the truth which is called the guru the principle is extended everywhere and in, in that mode you can never alienate yourself you will be one with the whole cosmos and then you will be beautifully merging into the whole thing once you start experiencing that you become the guru principle the principle starts working through you the primary difference you will feel is that nothing affects you the secondary uh, difference you will feel is that you will be fearless you will have no idea what is fear because there is nothing to be afraid of third you will feel that even if you exist or not there is no difference because actually everything is you you are always existing the soul always exists you will be identifying only with the soul and then you will always exist beyond time and space you will be one with the whole universe we will have no differences between the gurus or the uh, uh, the the uh, any beings not only gurus any beings of the universe we will find as one same all are one and once we attain this state we are the guru principle and this you can experience i would say that we have spoken a lot between our last uh, guru purnima message which i did from america to this one so we have covered a lot of distance many of you have attained great experiences great evolution which i am very happy about i am proud of you uh, i would request all those who are following me in various countries one thing be consistent and do not be too analytical about your experience about your progress about where you stand today whether the meditation is helping whether you are connected to mohan ji or not it doesn't matter have faith the pillar of our tradition is faith you should have faith in yourself which is your self which means your soul this is the permanent entity in you which is always permanent it can never change it will never divert from its purpose that is you so if you are purpose bound your objective is clearly purpose bound nothing can nothing can uh, thwart you from your destination nothing can prevent your journey you will be completely guided you will be protected and always you will attain your final destination this is for sure so your purpose should be very clear and the purpose should not be ordinary not a few sensations you can easily attain sensations in meditation there are various experiences happening even if you are not meditating if you are connecting to my consciousness you may feel an elevation if you are connecting to the guru consciousness and or you are connecting to your spine you may experience so much of uh, changes within you even if you do hyperventilation you could be uh, touching the altered states of consciousness but this is not the end 
these experiences are only the steps towards an ultimate trip ultimate journey your destination are not these experiences you need to cross over all the experiences and be one with god and to be one with god you should be one with yourself so my uh, request to all of you is to take time off and experience yourself experiencing yourself means first of all acceptance you need to accept yourself you may have all sorts of uh, thoughts about yourself criticism about yourself judgment about yourself forget about all that be yourself what you are today is what you have created yourself to be this is exactly what you want to be you may not have done this with a conscious choice as you say based on the consciousness or the conscience or the uh, available uh, state of mind which you have now this is not you this is just an expression of you the available consciousness which you are operating now or let's say the available awareness level which is chosen by you for a particular reason because of a reason because you wanted to experience a set of desires laid out over a period of time using this awareness this is why you chose it so accept it this is what you are but understand yourself take your time feel yourself feel life feel life more and more when you feel yourself and feel life you will stop judging people you will start stop criticizing people and you will be completely focused on purpose once you are completely focused on purpose this emotions will take a back seat emotions will not worry you bother you so much it will be more on the intellect plane intellect is the subtler aspect of your mind subtler the aspect the more powerful it becomes and the more consistent it becomes so you will once you stop analyzing criticizing judging or comparing yourself with other people automatically intellect takes over once intellect takes over life is smoother there will be a, a purpose bound existence and once the existence goes on purpose bound then you will be more and more stronger more and more clearer you will have absolute clarity and also you will be peaceful shanti this is exactly what we are looking for and in order to become peaceful you need to have consistency you should not enter into any kind of violence in thoughts words action even if it comes take them or consider them as flowers and put them at the feet of the master of your guru whenever there is a negativity happening collect them take them in your hand and put them at the feet of the master and say that it doesn't mean to me mean anything to me this is not mine likewise praises happen ego develops ego happens or aspects of ego you experience take them all as flowers and put them at the feet of the master there is no comparison there is no jealousy there is no criticism you will automatically raise your awareness and awareness will grow and until you reach complete liberation complete liberation is a continuous continuous task liberation has to happen from every aspect of your existence even your name your fame your habits your uh, vices your good good uh, aspects all these things are part of your binding you have to when you have to liberate yourself you have to liberate yourself from every aspect so detach yourself from all that you think you are and start working towards or walking towards the liberation the path of liberation liberation is worth it because we have been bound even without our knowledge all through our lifetimes this is why we are here today why we are here today is because we have been bound by karma we have been bound by destiny today right now we are bound by our destiny this is exactly the barrier the the blockage that we are planning to remove if you have to remove this if you have to be uh, free from all these aspects you have to be consistent you should have one purpose clear purpose and walk towards that purpose the guru tatva the principle will guide you will help you when you need the guru principle most just like your shadow it's with you 
full time always so never underestimate guru principle never feel that you are alienated guru is with you 100% 24 hour 365 days with you full time so just have faith trust and do not be bogged down or do not be worried about the mannerisms or the uh, the superficial aspects of any guru who is in the human form or any form because then you will never understand the consciousness you will be stuck with the superficial it's easy because the senses always connects to the superficial senses are oriented towards the superficial so when you are using your senses and mind to recognize or to understand or you feel the principle called guru you will never get there you need to go beyond the senses beyond the mind to connect to the consciousness which operates through the principle called guru it could also be in human form so never make the mistake of judging a guru using your available available understanding or available awareness you will never get to the real core of the principle so i wish you wish all of you a great year ahead from now and let the the glow the energy the brightness of the principle of guru brighten you burn inside you and let this flame always remain inside your heart and let it shine forth lead by example if you would like to convey something to the world do it live it if you do not live it if you just preach it is just noise it will not matter anything it will not matter to the world but if you live it you are actually making a statement to the world when you live what you believe in you are making a statement to the world this is much more appropriate and this is much more important in today's times so i wish you wish all of you across the world who are connected to me i love you i love you deeply and i am constantly with you and i am concerned about you and i care for you and i will remain so you are connected to me just like one family so please live harmony please live love unconditional love these are the expressions of higher awareness live harmony if there are differences take step towards solving it sorting it out making people understand that the life is short there is no time for differences we have great things to do for the world and help everybody without thinking without discriminating especially those who are helpless this is our commitment and our responsibility to help the helpless always be available to help the helpless when you help the helpless you are actually supporting or you are explicitly uh, performing the tatva the principle called guru in you so always do that and i am one with you i am not separate from you i am always with you and you are always with me we are eternally connected we are soul mates that is why we came together that is why we recognized each other remember this clearly and let us be one family let us remain so and let us be connected and let us evolve into the highest possible liberation in one lifetime i thank you for listening and being here and once again i love you and i am always with you happy guru purnima to all